very special show for you today, and uh, you know, I just want you to know that I, I get your letters every day and I read them. And I got a lot of letters recently from a lot of parents out there saying, I can't get my child to eat. Well, I used to have that same trouble too. I was working uh, for an orphanage years ago and uh, the kids wouldn't eat. I came along, started making meals, started experimenting. The kids were eating, they all left there overweight. Then we had another problem. So I want you to know that I heard you and I'm gonna help you out today. Today we're gonna to make a dish that no child can resist. That's right, no child can resist. And uh, you put this in front of any, any child, I don't care who they are, they're gonna eat it all. I also just wanna take a minute to uh, thank the folks who uh, gave me another award. I got the award for the best children's dish in the United States. So uh, I want to thank the people who voted for me on this from the uh, Home Magazine for Children. I am, uh, I am humbled by this award. I'm going to put it right there so you all can see it. All right. Today we're going to make a little dish. And uh, after years and years of studying and trying to figure out what kids like, this is what I came up with. And I'll tell you what, the kids gobbled it up. You say your kids don't like mashed potatoes? They will now. All right, so I got some mashed potatoes I made earlier. What you want to do is you want to put it into a bowl. All right. Take a little bit off, put that aside, make yourself a bowl. So what we're going to make here is a porcupine. That's right. That's right, a porcupine. Kids love porcupines. All right, make yourself a little bowl of mashed potatoes and put it right in the center of the dish like that. You see that? All right. Now, you're going to need a head. So make another little bowl and put the head right there. So let me move this out of the way so you can see what's going on here. So now you go, come on, come on, stinking roaches. Um, so you got a head and you got a body, all right? Next, get yourself some green beans out of the garden. And these came right out of my garden. I got them this morning on my way in. Cut the ends off, all right? Cut the ends off. You don't want your child to choke on the stems, all right? It's a very easy dish. Well, you gotta pay attention to what you're doing, all right? So just cut off the ends like this. And as you can see, I'm probably the best person that's ever handled a knife before. See how easy I use this knife? Look at that, there you go. All right, now you got your beans. You wanna blanch them in blanching water, okay? Put some blanching water on the stove and blanch them. Okay, they're blanching away. Now, while they're blanching away, get your porcupine, all right? Now, porcupine's gotta walk, right? Porcupine's gotta walk, all right? Let's put some legs on it. I got some shrimp, all right? So you put the legs on there like that, okay? Legs on there like this, look at that. Already starting to take shape. Look at that beautiful, beautiful porcupine. Already, I want to eat it, already. All right, so you got your shrimp on there, you got your mashed potatoes, and it's already starting to look like something. All right, now, porcupines always got to walk around in the dirt. So if you got some beans around, sprinkle the beans around, it makes it look like they're walking in dirt. I got some mixed vegetables, all right. Give it a little bit of landscape. Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. Now, the beans should be about done blanching by now. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful green beans. Before we put anything on here, let's put a little salt. You don't want to put too much salt on there. 
Because then it gets too soy and the kids won't eat it because they say it's too soy. All right? And uh, how about a little pepper? Beautiful, beautiful. All right, now, let's put those beans in it. This is the part, this is the part that uh, really sells it to the children. When they see this, this is what makes them want to eat it. All right. See what I'm doing? I'm sticking the beans in there, just like that. See that? What does it look like? Uh-huh, a porcupine. Let's put one on his head. You ever seen pictures of real porcupines? They got quills on their head. Put it all over here. Look at that. See that? I know what you're saying. My son or daughter is going to love it. Well, you're right. You need a tail. Let's cut the end off this tail like that. There you go, there you go. Now, happy little porcupine walking through the grass. All right, put a little couple happy trees in there. You can use broccoli. Kids didn't like to eat broccoli before. Now they will. Happy little trees. Look at that, smiling. Now, what's our porcupine missing? Missing eye. All right. Tell you what. I got some Jolly Ranchers here. That's right. There's an eye. And there's an eye. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Tell me something. Tell me your child won't eat that. Huh? Tell me your child won't eat that. Here we go. Let's garnish it. I garnish it right here with a beautiful blow pop. <laughs> I'm very proud of that dish, and I think you will be too. You can make this uh, any time, any time of the year, and you can change it up a little bit if you want to. But there you go. That's the porcupine dinner. All children would like it. I think you're going to enjoy making it too. Until we see each other again, mind you.